verse 23 therefore if thou bring thy gift to the altar and there rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee it continues with verse 24 so i'm not going to sit until i finish verse 24 leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way first be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift what christ is saying is that as christians when we go to church when in those days because what he was saying he was saying things from then on so which means that when anyone says they worship god they are christians and they go to church they go to uh, you know a place to worship Christ is saying that if you say you are going to worship God, if you say you are going to church, if you say you are uh, going to do something to benefit you know, other people as a Christian, there is a qualification. What you may be trying to do is good, or may be good in verse 23, but verse 24 says that, well, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold As people say, no, wait, 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 wait. You can't go, hold up, or whatever word they use. No, you are in the middle of going to do something. They say, wait. Then you freeze. So Christ is saying, freeze. Stop. Why does he say stop? He says stop because 24, you already have a problem with somebody. Verse 23, if you have something. The last part of verse 23 says, uh, if um, you remember, this is, he says, even you forget, you forgot that, oh, I have issue with my brother, my sister, my father, my mother, and you say, oh, I'm going to church, I'm go and you are, you know, preparing, and then all of a sudden, you remember, or maybe you're on your way. So the, he's talking about altar, so the altar can mean uh, what we are talking about, uh, uh, you're going to church. And then you remember, maybe you are halfway in your on the expressway or something. I remember, oh, I did something to somebody. Somebody did something to me. You know, last week, last year, last uh, century. Then verse twenty-four says, "The Lord Jesus Christ is commanding us that leave your gift, leave, leave your, you know, leave your car, leave your whatever you are trying to do. Stop wherever you are." And go back to that person. First, be reconciled to thy brother or sister or father, mother, husband, wife. And then come back and offer thy gift. So God says, if you want to go to heaven, we're talking about heaven and hell. If you want to go to heaven, then <clears throat> if you are going somewhere and you remember, oh, I just remembered that... I have an issue with this brother or sister. If you don't turn back and say, oh, let me drive back. Because you say, oh, I'm going to church. I'm going to be late. But he says, fine. God says, go back. It is better you can go back and reconcile with that person, with that brother, with that sister, father, mother, and all that. Then come back and, uh, you know, which means go and settle the matter first before you go to church. Verse 25 says, Agree with thy adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the offerer, officer, and thou be cast into prison. So uh, that's you know part of uh, what we are saying. So you just do what is necessary. And again, we are unwilling to sacrifice. To sacrifice uh, things, oh, well, no, 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 I have to do, I have to. But God is saying that it is better to settle matter with your, whoever you have issues with, than to come to God and say, oh, Lord, I'm here to worship you, and I'm worshiping, I'm praising you, and doing that. Fine. But then, if we don't go back to correct what we have done wrong, God says, again, there are two ways, heaven or two locations, heaven or hell. And so if Christ is warning us about this, then we know uh, there's much. 
So the answer to question 22, yes, the Lord Jesus Christ preached about hell. It's so many, and so a true truth. Question 23, the Lord Jesus Christ spoke of a rich man who died and went to hell. True or false? If we had said uh, false, we would have been lashed six times because last week we talked about it, right? So it's, uh, anyway, just a joke. Uh, yes, uh, this is true truth because, uh, again, we touched on it last week when we uh, talked about heaven and hell. So let us uh, please uh, read Luke, uh, brother, uh, Luke 16, 22, 23. <laughs> Luke 16, 22, 23. It is from Luke chapter 16, verse 22 to 23. 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham Joseph. The rich man also died and was buried and in hell. He lift up his eyes, being in torment, and seek, seek Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Amen. Amen. So again, uh, since we already talked about it in detail, we will just uh, quickly say that uh, yes, uh, the Lord Jesus spoke about of a rich man who died and went to hell. So this was not a parable this was a true truth it's a true story because he mentioned names and if he mentioned them then it shows that there was somebody who was called abraham so if we all know that genesis is filled with uh, uh, abraham then israel beginning of uh, you know uh, the, the journey where he was able to go and leave his father's home and then god said if you go i'll bless you and then you become a father of nations, and he did, and all, and uh, uh, so all of this we know. So, in the case of this rich man who died and went to hell, he went into suffering, he went into torment. It is true truth, and there's no way anyone can say that this is not a, a, a true account. It's a true account, and it's something that one should be uh, worried about. That well. It is not about being rich. It is not about uh, uh, because you are rich so you are going to go to hell. No, 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 no. It is about not being compassionate, not being helpful, not providing, not donating, not helping other people, not uh, sharing what you have. Taking hold of everything, this is mine, this is mine. I'm not going to give anybody, even when you know that the person is suffering, the person is going through hardship, you still close your heart, you close your mind, and you don't want to uh, do anything. And all of those uh, point to the fact that when we don't have compassion, it is going to be uh, bad because. The Lord Jesus Christ says that what happened, the rich man died because he didn't have any love for uh, the poor man, Lazarus, uh, who was begging at his gate or, you know, somewhere uh, in front of his house. Uh, but once we see this information, the rich man also died and he was buried and then in hell once he died he said oh wow you know and we've talked about it that the rich man was begging father abraham please oh can you send lazarus the same person that you didn't want uh, to even give just a little bit of bread or a little bit of a piece of this you didn't give anything to him now you are begging uh, father abraham to say that oh please send uh, this man and Father Abraham said, no, sorry, you missed your chance. So, uh, no way. Anyway, we've talked about this, so I'm not going to go uh, much into detail. So, it's true truth. Question 24. The path to hell is narrow because God loves all. 
true or false. 